It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to that business show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Catch this show on weekdays at 8 a.m. on 1250 WHNZ, and also uh, learn more about the show over at my website, tampabayradio.com. This show is all about the uh, business owners and entrepreneurs uh, uh, in and about the uh, Tampa Bay region and really pretty much throughout the state. So and if you're a business owner looking to uh, grow and promote themselves on the airwaves here, I'd love to hear from you. Best way to get me, uh, shoot me an email. Jamie at TampaBayRadio.com. Got two uh, influential business owners uh, in studio with me today. We'll be talking here in just a little bit with uh, Heidi Honey of the uh, Great Hope Preschool about preschool education. She'll be coming up here in just a, just a few moments. And then on the uh, second part of the show, we'll be talking with David Osterweil of Fit Life Foods. That'll be a great discussion all about healthy eating. And I'm sure the lovely co-host Stella Giudicelli, who joins me in studio, will be uh, very excited to join in on that conversation. Stella, how are you doing today? I am uh, very good, yes. Very excited to uh, to join today. Uh, you know, food and health is uh, always uh, my favorite subject. I know so. that's a uh, big part of your uh, everyday diet, healthy eating, and you always have some interesting juice with you uh, that I cannot stand the smell of half the time. But <laughs> nonetheless, you have a much better figure than me, so you must be doing something right. <laughs> right, and uh, I am a client of uh, Fit Life Foods as well, so it's great to uh, have them in the studio. Yes, absolutely. How was uh, your weekend? Anything exciting uh, going on for you? Well, I had a big surprise. I came to the office and uh, someone was sitting in your seat uh, and as I was came in, coming in I was wondering who was sitting there wearing was a, yeah, something a little different I was I really in my pirate outfit you. yeah yeah I was in my pirate outfit in, in honor of uh, or in celebration I should say of uh, the St. Patrick's Day parade that went on this weekend in uh, Ybor City okay and uh, I, I tell you what though I felt more like a pimp than a pirate in that outfit a big bright green outfit <laughs> and black pants and I had four lovely ladies with me walking around so yeah in the pictures everybody says you don't look like a pirate you're like a pimp <laughs> so I don't know but we had a lot of fun that was my uh, first uh, well not wasn't my first thing it was my first St. Patrick's Day parade in a while I used to be a member of the uh, crew of Fort Brook uh, several years ago, but I was with uh, the crew of Rogues, who uh, were in my uh, show just a few uh, weeks ago. Who are they? Uh, that's a uh, it's a crew of mostly businessmen and entrepreneurs, and obviously a perfect fit for you know my show. And so they are in studio a, a few weeks ago in pirate garb, and they're talking about, hey, you can come into any parade you want, hundred bucks, and and have fun. So you don't even have to join the crew. That's one of the things that makes them unique. And so I told my friends, and you know we all uh, decided to you know pirate up for the uh, weekend and went down there and had a had a great time. And, and, and so you just walked around Ebor with a parade. Did you stop anywhere? Like was there an after? party yeah there's well yeah of course down ebor yeah there's a big after party we we're supposed to head over to some cuban club or the italian club we couldn't end up finding it after the parade or be kind of disperses and everything and so we ended up just going from like club to club around and around ebor city but uh yeah it was a lot of fun it's a it's a short parade uh you know it's always fun to be on the uh, parade uh you know floats and throwing the beads and, and and all that type of stuff it's been a few years since i got to be in the parade but we had a lot of fun with it and it was uh, kind of interesting to you know be in the uh, little pirate outfit. Had a lot of fun with that. So did you party until dawn? No, 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 no. I, I, I I'm, st- I'm getting old. You know, I mean, after you know several drinks, and I want to go home. And, and I'm not the type of I'm not I'm not in my college days anymore. Where yeah, I used to stay out all night and drinking and not remember you know what happened the day before. No, <laughs> come midnight after a few drinks, I, I start to get tired and I just want to go to bed. So uh, I'm getting old now. Well, I'm surprised because I know Marilyn is a party girl. So she's not that much of a partier. So. But uh, her friends are. But uh, no, we, uh, you know, they like to go out and have a good time. But yeah, none of us, you know, get too too drunk and crazy anymore. So okay, very good. Yeah, and, and you know, we have got the you know the Fit Life guy here today. He's gonna <laughs> you know talk to us about the you know why we shouldn't be drinking any alcohol whatsoever. But we'll hear from him on the yep. second part of the show. <laughs> He's like, no, no, I drink all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right, so we got our first guest in studio today. Heidi Honey is the new owner of Great Hope Preschool. Miss Honey brings over 15 years of preschool and business operations histories to the table. For the past three years, she has been consulting with startups and small businesses on areas ranging from human resource projects and standard operating procedure development to grant writing, program evaluation, and business development. Great Hope Preschool will play a major role in focusing the attention of communities served on the importance of early childhood development, intervention, and quality education. Heidi, welcome to the show today. 
Thank you, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much uh, for coming in on this uh, early Monday morning. A great start to the week talking about education and drinking and fit life foods. A great, great little mix here we got going on this morning. <laughs> So you just recently took over operations of the uh, Great Hope Preschool. Talk to me about how you got involved in this uh, in this preschool. Yes, my first day was October one. Um, I was sitting in a real estate course. <laughs> of oh, all okay. Things. Yeah, uh, okay. it in lines with what you do. Right. Um, about se- September seventeenth, I got a call and said, "I think that this opportunity is one that you should consider." I drove out to Wesley Chapel, took a look at the preschool. It definitely needed some work, and yes, he was right. It was right up my alley. Um, so I said, all right, let's do this. Uh, within two weeks, I was the new owner of Great Hope Preschool. Within the first week, we had completely cleaned out everything, pressure washed um, every single toy, bookshelf, everything in there, <laughs> painted all of the rooms, um, and then have been slowly working to renovate the preschool with um, the last renovation being our playground on uh, February 25th, which was our ribbon cutting and grand opening. Uh, That was the rollout of our new preschool playground. So this was an existing business that you took ownership of. What was the history of this school? How long has it been in existence and and kind of what was its reputation? Do you have that information? The school started back in like 2000 in a brand new strip plaza. Um, It has had four or five different owners throughout the years. The school, when I took over, only had about 10 children. Now we're up to about 35. Um, the school was struggling just because of the owner change and just the, diff- the the history of the school in general just wasn't a very good one for the community and for the area. And I think over the last five months, I've worked really hard to get the news out that there's a new owner. Um, our website has different pictures of what we have done, what we are currently doing. Um, and then we are also changing the way in which we educate children uh, for the future. So Now, what's your uh, vision for uh, Great Hope Preschool? What are you wanting it to become? Well, my vision for Great Hope Preschool is to change the poor quality image of preschool chains in the Tampa Bay area. So we want to start with this being our first and then look for some a similar situation at somewhere in the Tampa Bay area um, and then grow to at least five Great Hopes by the 2018. Just to have a vision, where is the preschool located? It is in Wesley Chapel, between, uh, right off of State Road 54, between Van Dyne and Curley. There's a bright house out there, um, a new Walmart that they just put in on that exit. Okay, and then um, um, how big is your team? It looks like it's a big project, and it looks like you're doing a lot with um, you know, the website and I guess the marketing, the branding, like who is there helping you? Well, right now it's currently myself oh, wow. um, in the leadership role. There are six teachers. We have two classroom two classrooms open with the potential to open up a third. Uh, We will be uh, or are currently enrolling for the voluntary pre-kindergarten program, which is a state program for every four-year-old in the state who turns four before September is eligible to participate in VPK. So we are gearing up to do a marketing campaign for that just to put the word out there that Great Hope will have voluntary pre-kindergarten for the 2015-2016 school year, and that should fill in that third classroom. Now, how do uh, preschools work? I remember in West Virginia going to preschool, and I don't remember my parents paying for preschool, but your your school has a cost, but then you said there's a public aspect uh, to uh, attendance as well. So how is preschool structured in our area? Well, preschools can be serve different age ranges. So Great Hope serves infants through 12 years of age. So we have the ability... Um, to have an after school program. So we pick up before and after a few children that go to our local public schools. And then we have an infant toddler classroom and a three to five classroom. So the way that, um, or typically how preschool is funded would be either through private pay where a parent would pay for their child to come to preschool, which we have about 75% of our population is private. And then the other 15% is funded through the Early Learning Coalition of Pasco County and that through their school readiness program. So they provide parents a voucher based off of their income, and then they can take that income to private providers such as Great Hope and then enroll their child. Now, you called that the Head Start program. Was that the term that you used prior? Is that, is that accurate? The Head Start program is different. Um, that is another subsidized um, 
based off of your income type of program. We are not currently Head Start, but there are other Head Start programs um, in our area or in in the counties in general that uh, serve infants through five years. And so how would you uh, set yourself apart from other preschools? What makes Great Hope Preschool different from the others? Great Hope Preschool is different because we actually educate your child. So when you first come in, I do a tour with you and I talk to you personally about Great Hope and what we will be doing with your child and introduce you to all of the teachers and show you every single classroom, not just the classroom that your child is going to be in because I think that when you're looking for a preschool, you need to look for a preschool that which, in which your family can grow. So if your child's an infant, you want to know what the two-year-old classroom is going to look like. You want to know what, pre, what the pre-K program looks like. Um, so when they come in, we within the first two weeks, we do a conference. And the things that we use during the conference are developmental assessment called the ages and stages questionnaire. Um, parents may be or may be introduced to these at their doctor's office or doctors may be using them. But we do the developmental side as well as the social emotional. With those assessments, we then sit down with the parent and create an individualized lesson plans that the teachers use. So if I walk into a room and I say, little Johnny is, what is little Johnny working on this week? Or what are your educational goals for Johnny? All of our teachers know what each child is working on or should be working towards as far as their development. Well, hold that point. Got to take a quick break. But uh, coming back from the uh, break, we'll be talking with, uh, more with Heidi Honey of the uh, Great Hope Preschool about what to look for in a preschool. And you're, look, uh, you're uh, listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. In the market for a reverse mortgage? Contact Access Reverse, a local company with personalized service in the Bay Area. Call them at 727-347-0305 or visit AccessReverse.com for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit AccessReverse.com. NMLS number 4566. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear-to-close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. Underwritten in six hours, cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at mcpeakteam.com. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. She didn't just visit the sick and poor. She moved in with them because they needed help. Mother Teresa couldn't do it all, but she gave her all. Compassion. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at Values.com. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. Northbound 275 after 31st Street South to pass 38th Avenue North. Some stop and go traffic due to an accident blocking up two lanes of traffic. Also heavy delays northbound 275 across the span of the Howard Franklin Bridge approaching Tampa this morning. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. <laughs> Mostly sunny, not as humid, high 83, partly cloudy tonight, low 64. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day, sunny, high 80. 
You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Catch the show on weekdays here on 1250 WHNZ, as this show is all about our business owners and entrepreneurs, and if uh, you're a fellow business owner and entrepreneur in and around the uh, Tampa Bay region, even across the state of Florida, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, send me a quick email, jamie at tampabayradio.com, and uh, give me a quick pitch of uh, what it is that you do, and I'd uh, probably invite you in the studio here. Got a lot of slots to fill, and I'm very interested in helping you uh, get your message out to the uh, community. So, uh, again, please uh, feel free to uh, message me. Best way, again, send me an email, jamie at tampabayradio.com. Also, you can head over to the website, tampabayradio.com, to learn more about the show as well as catch past shows via the uh, show info tab. And also, you can uh, catch me on demand over at iTunes. Just search for That Business Show. And uh, connect with me on all the uh, social networking sites, including uh, facebook.com forward slash that business show. And uh, please follow me over on Twitter for all the uh, show updates. I'm under the uh, handle Jamie underscore Maloney. Uh, another great week planned this week uh, for uh, business owners uh, in studio. Uh, quick preview of who's uh, coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow we talk with Eric Salvareza with uh, AeroCon, which is a uh, financial conference company focused on producing high quality finance conferences covering unique topics in emerging and growth markets. He'll be jo- joining me in studio tomorrow. On uh, Wednesdays, as always, we'll have our Working Women Wednesdays feature uh, sponsored by uh, Jessica Ravelli's Working Women of Tampa Bay's group. We have uh, two professional women in each and every Wednesday. So we'll be talking with Roshni Hanan. She is Vice President of Communications with the Indo-U.S. Chamber. She'll be in here, and she's also a former executive producer of the uh, Fox 13 Morning Show. So uh, it gr- be a great conversation about media and what's going on uh, in the community with her on Wednesday, along with the CEO of Fry Entertainment, Yvonne Fry. And Yvonne Fry is a sought-after expert in the uh, telecommunications industry and uh, president of uh, Lines of Communication, which services medium and large corporations. And on Thursday, we'll have, uh, as always, Jim Yeager with the uh, Remodeler's Corner in at 8.30. And who knows, he may uh, stop in with uh, Charlie the Plumber. Uh, he's been on a few shows, uh, his uh, fellow uh, plumbing subcontractor and the always entertaining uh, Charlie uh, the Plumber. People may uh, know him from other uh, shows. He's a, a chronic radio caller. And uh, now that he has a, a contact on my radio show, he stops in and sees me uh, on uh, every Thursday here pretty much. So quite an entertaining character. So who knows, we may hear from him again on uh, Thursday at 8.30. 30 uh, with Jim Yeager of uh, Yeager and Company on the uh, Remodelers Corner. And also on Thursday, we'll be talking with uh, the president of Call Pass, Jason Ashton. And uh, Call Pass is a, is a, uh, a tech company uh, in charge of, um, they developed uh, this uh, GPS uh, technology and stuff um, that is, let me see here, it services a variety of industries, including subprime, auto finance, car dealerships, uh, distribution channels. It's uh, So, got to learn about that uh, this week on um, uh, Thursday with Jason Ashton. And let's see who we have on Friday. We've got Colleen Wormsley with uh, DoSomething.org and uh, Dr. Raj Ambe, a plastic surgery um, breast uh, augmentation specialist. Uh, that'll be a fun conversation. He's going to be in here on Friday, uh, Dr. Raj Ambe with the Ambe Plastic Surgery. So that's a uh, preview of uh, who's coming up uh, this week. But in, uh, today we're talking with Heidi Honey of the Great Hope Preschool. And before the break, we, wanted to, we were foreshadowing a uh, discussion about what to look for in a preschool. So, Heidi, you're now the uh, owner of the Great Hope Preschool. How do you advise, uh, you know, parents and what to look for in a in a preschool when they're looking for their youngins? That I say when I receive a call is, what time do you want to come in? Um, you don't necessarily have to have a time, and you don't want to um, be forced into thinking that I can't just show up and see how things are going because that's really how it should happen. But you also then want to be like for programs like myself where it's just me, um, appointments are nice and they are friendly, but what you really want to do is just show up um, and see what is happening when you get there. Um, I encourage parents to come at times where they aren't doing um, nap time 
Um, although <laughs> I miss that, man. Why can't, why can't we have nap time and work and, and every day out? You know, that's a, something that we we need to carry through to other things in life. Nap time. I miss that so much. <laughs> well, we have a few that don't nap, uh, which can be quite a challenge. But to come at nap time, you don't get to see the activities. You don't get to see those interactions that are happening with the children that are currently enrolled and with the teacher. And that is so important. That is what um, you should actually be gauging whether or not you're, you want your child to attend that program. So picking a good time to come in to tour facility is one of the number one things. Are they actively engaged? What does the room look like? Is the room clean, but you don't necessarily want to have the, the cleanest of program because then it becomes too sterile because then you wonder, you wonder, are they actually like doing things or are they just sitting there in the chairs? Um, the uh, Great Hope program is modeled um, after the theory that children learn through play. So our classrooms are set up through centers. So there's a block, there's an art, there's a housekeeping. How are those kept? Um, do they look like there's enough toys for all of the children that are in the classroom? Now take me through the day. What does uh, a child, what time of the, the day does the uh, preschool open? What's like the first activities? When is nap time? <laughs> you know, Take me through a day for a, a child at your school. Our school is open from 6.30 to 6.30. So the children come in, we have breakfast from 8 to 8.30, and then they go into learning centers, and then they have their circle time, their Wait. learning time, and their structure. That's the weekdays? Yes, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. We have had some requests to open up on Saturday and Sunday, and I think as Wesley Chapel grows, that might be something that Great Hope can grow into, but currently we're just Monday through Friday. Um, then they will have lunch, then they'll go down for nap, they wake up for snack, and then they do the learning centers, and then they have closing circles, and then by that time it's time for parents to come pick up. What are some of the educational programs that you're teaching at this age? Currently, right now, we use the creative curriculum. So, again, it comes back to children learn through play. So if they have a theme or the teachers are working on, let's say, they've chosen farm animals, there will be farm animal um, art activities. There will be farm animal type things that are going to be in blocks. They're going to build a farm. Um, those types of things are carried through throughout. And then not only do we have them inside our classroom, but we also have learning centers out on our playground. I tell people when they tour, we're not going to complete with the uh, compete with the playgrounds that have the really nice play structures and the really large gross motor equipment because that's not what we're about. We're about education. So we have a block center outside. We have art outside and so forth. I kind of want to, I want to be back there, you know, I hear you talk. <laughs> well, we would love to have you come. Sounds like it's a good time. <laughs> come by and tour. I would love to show you the program. Yeah. So what level do you, you. Uh, use technology at this point in the uh, development of uh, the children? Are you teaching them on the iPads and all that stuff at this point? We have a computer in the three-year-old room. Um, it's just basic uh, preschool software. Uh, that will be something that, as Great Hope grows, we will grow into technology. Now, uh, the staff uh, at the uh, facility, how many different teachers and director? You're the director and owner, but how many different people are involved in, in your facility? Well, we have three teachers that are primarily staffed in our infant Todd program, and then we have two teachers that are in our pre-K, and then one that floats around, assists us with cooking as well. We are part of or are contracted with the government for the child care food program, so we provide warm meals as well. Um, we do not use fit, fit, life, fit Life is here. We don't use processed food. We use whole foods, whole chicken, um, that sort of uh, fresh vegetables. The the children, when I first served them the Greek yogurt, they were kind of like looking at this like, what is this? And we're like, well, you should, you know, pair it with this. And we're definitely broadening their horizons with the food choices that are on our menu. So it looks like you've created a pretty um, a sound and sophisticated um, business. Um, how did you, I'm, I'm actually very impressed as I'm listening to you. How did you managed to how did you arrive there and your inspiration yeah what was the inspiration yeah i started uh preschool back in nine about well, roughly about 99 um and i was under a director i was working two jobs putting myself through college and i told her that by the time i was 31 i was going to be have, have a net worth of a million dollars and she looked at me and laughed and said you're in the wrong industry <laughs> and i said okay well, well we'll keep working we'll keep working um and so i just from learning from her, I just had this passion that just kept growing and growing and growing, and um, she was a great mentor. And then I started at HCC, which is uh, the early childhood program that they have there. Then I kind of moved over into the nonprofit sector where I acquired most of, of my directing skills. 
Um, so I was an executive director of a nonprofit preschool, which was modeled after the Head Start program that we just uh, mentioned. We had a family support program, um, an early learning um, literacy coach, all the bells and whistles, and then I'm just trying to carry that same concept through through Great Hope with the family activities, with the parents as partners and literacy program that we offer, the wellness program that we offer there at Great Hope. Right. And real quick, we're about to hit the break. Uh, accreditation, uh, what do you have accreditation for the school? We will be working towards NAEYC accreditation, which is the National Education of the, the Young Child. Mm -hmm. um, may have got that a little mixed up. Uh, we aren't currently accredited yet, but we are currently following all their criteria and guidelines, and that is another thing that parents should look for is if the program that they're about to choose are they accredited or no. not great information uh where uh you can get more information about uh, heidi and her uh, uh, school over at greathopepreschool.com coming back from the break we're going to be talking with david osterweil of fit life foods here on that business show with jamie maloney where business becomes show business Tune in this weekend to get tips and advice from air rescue on how to keep your air conditioner running like a top or Get a sweet deal on tuning up your air conditioner at cleanmyac.com. That's cleanmyac.com. Why does sales director Will Walker stay at La Quinta Inns and Suites? Because only La Quinta sends Will a ready-for-you alert the second his room is ready. Stellar! And when Will can settle into his spacious suite before an out-of-this-world meeting, do you know how high his sales go? Houston, we have no problem. We've reached the top of the atmosphere and are ready to engage the sale. Over. The sky's the limit. La Quinta is ready for you, so you'll be ready for business. They're ready for you alert only at LQ.com. Hi, here's your delivery from Staples.com. Thanks, Staples guy. Ugh, do you have stuff to clean this disaster of a break room? Sure, Staples has wipes, paper towels, sprays, sponges, all at a low price. How about these floors? Disinfecting cleaners, mops, bucket with side press ringers, and yellow wet floor signs. Anyone know how long it takes to reheat cod? We also have air fresheners. I'll take a case of those. Make on budget happen, make cleaning up happen. Staples, make more happen. Now at Staples, get Scott 12 pack paper towels for just $7.99. Offer valid on SKU 300469 in store and online and 328 while supplies last. See store staples.com for details. At iHeartRadio, we have something for everybody. If you want hip hop, we got it. If you want top 40, believe me, just watch. We got it. If you want country, we got it. If you want rock, we got it. In over 1,500 live radio stations from across the country. And if you want to make your own out of your own playlist, heck yeah, get it. 800,000 artists and 20 million songs. We have something for everybody. Download the app or listen live at iHeartRadio.com. And we also have something for everybody at Golden Diamond Source. Check it out online. Hi, welcome to Jaegers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Jaegers, our primary business is hardwood flooring although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop-at-home vans that have all the flooring-type products, hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tiles, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting, how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. Bay Area forecast from Winds Weather Center, sunshine, high temperature 89 degrees, tonight's low down to 64, tomorrow's high 86, lots of sunshine throughout Tampa Bay, 1250 winds, WHNZ, let's talk nutrition, weekday mornings at 9. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNC. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Catch the show on uh, weekdays here on 1250 WHNZ on, at 8 a.m. As This show is all about the uh, business owners and entrepreneurs in the community. And again, if uh, you're looking to uh, grow and promote yourself on the airways, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a quick email, jamie at tampabayradio.com. Also, listen, uh, on demand, uh, you can find me on a number of different sites. Um, best way, uh, iTunes. Uh, if you follow iTunes, just search for That Business Show. Also, you can catch past shows over on my website, tampabayradio.com. Also, I have a, a YouTube channel where you can find all of the streams. We do stream all the uh, all the shows live here in studio. So you can head over to uh, either my website, tampabayradio.com. I got those all over there. 
And also over on uh, my YouTube channel, just search uh, for myself, uh, Jamie Maloney. Also, you can catch uh, the podcast on SoundCloud as well. Uh, we were just uh, talking with Heidi Honey of the uh, Great Hope Preschool. She is the uh, new owner and director of uh, that preschool here on the uh, first half of the show. And uh, on the second part of the show, we're talking with uh, David Osterweil, who is the founder of Fit Life Foods, a powerfully good, fresh prepared meals store chain based in Tampa. Fit Life Foods was developed to help people find fresh, all natural prepared meals meals that are designed to give people their daily allowance of awesomeness. David created Fit Life because he realized it was time in his life to combine what he knew with what he loved, the food business, combining it with love of food, health, and wellness, and eliminate what was challenging for him about the restaurant business. David, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Jamie. Appreciate you having me. Thank you. I know Stella's going to be all about this segment. Cause... <laughs> I already have a thousand questions. Yeah, well, Stella, why don't you go ahead and open it up with a question? Fire right. Away. So you are the founder. Yes. Okay. And so what happened? I mean, you know, Jamie explained a little bit, but do you have a story of what really happened and yeah. how you made that happen? Because it's it's already a big business and everyone knows Fit Life Foods in Tampa. So I want to know about the origins. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so you know, kind of going going back in time, I was actually one of the first interns that Outback Steakhouse actually had in the early '90s, and uh, I was uh, I was heading off to business school um, in in the early 2000s, and I I had a meeting with uh, Bob Basham, who was one of the founders of Outback, and I said, you know, I'm really interested in learning more about the restaurant space uh, and kind of getting more into it after a few different jobs after undergraduate. And ended up going uh, and moving to D.C. And he said, hey, go, go talk to my brother. And he had a sports bar and grill chain up in the D.C. area. So I, I went up there and I started working while I was in business school at a place called Glory Days Grill. There's actually one up, I think, in uh, Wesley Chapel now. And uh, I uh, kind of did everything throughout the restaurant. I learned a lot about myself, actually. Uh, you learn a lot about yourself as a uh, male server during March Madness in a sports bar. Like, you're not <laughs> right. the most popular person there. <laughs> but, uh, but after business school... Uh, I was offered a couple of different jobs and interviewed at a few different companies and really had the opportunity to come back and work uh, with Bloom and Brands and Outback Steakhouse and did that for about seven years. And uh, my wife and I are both uh, marathon runners. We're really into health and fitness. And my last role there, I was doing product development with uh, the Carabas brand. And I really just said, you know, I've got to combine what I love, which is health and fitness and i'm running these marathons and you know my wife and i ran boston together uh back in 2007 and and said i want to do it combined with what i love so uh you know my my wife and i had our first uh our first child back in 2008 and uh it was a it was a really challenging year um she we have an amazing daughter she's unbelievable but it was a tough it was a tough first year medically um and in 2009, we escaped to a uh, to a spa out in Arizona um, called uh, called Canyon Ranch, and actually, we I remember leaving after this week we had spent there just to kind of get away. And I remember being in like an airport lounge and tasting salt and being like, "Oh my gosh! Like this is that's how well we were eating during the week." And I said leaving that trip, I said, I want to figure out how I can bring this type of food to everyday people, to everybody, um, and do it in a really easy way. And, you know, I didn't have the money to start the big restaurant with, you know, the huge infrastructure, you know, so I had to make it really simple and really easy. So, uh, we, so I started Fit Life in, uh, in, in, so you started this all on your own. How did you now take me through that? Cause that's the yeah. challenge that every entrepreneur yeah. wants to know how the other entrepreneur did that because funding is a huge issue. Absolutely. Tell me how you got yeah. started. Financially. So I spent about a year developing the concept kind of nights, weekends, holidays. Um, I kind of cobbled together my, my savings and, uh, and accounts. And actually I put together a business plan and I took it to a, it's a pretty large bank. Um, in the Tampa Bay area, I won't I won't call them out, but uh, and they were like, yeah, you know, looks good, great business plan, great background, you know, being with Outback and and all that, and uh, and you know, looks good, and you know, I was I was moving down the tracks. I mean, I was you know about ready to sign the first lease and kind of go through, and they're like, yeah, we'll just send it up to uh, to the corporate office, and we should be on your way. And I get a call later that afternoon saying, yeah, it's not happening, yeah. and I was like. You've got to be kidding me! Mm -hmm. So I actually, uh, I actually called uh, a, a fellow restaurateur in town, and uh, he said, "Hey, you've got to give a call, and I'll give a shout out to him to uh, to Gulf Shore Bank." And I called Gulf Shore Bank, and I actually was in there the next day uh, with this business plan, and kind of worked through it with them, and ended up getting. Um, 
a couple months later, ended up getting an SBA loan. So I had to collateralize my house, had to kind of sign the whole thing away and uh, really kind of just take a shot. My wife is pregnant with our second at the time. So she, well, she was, yeah, so she was at the time. And I'm like, you know, yeah, I crazy. So you did all this on your own. You don't have, did you know angel investors or no other people? When I started, I did, I did it on my own. Um, and uh, yeah, no, you did, I did it on my own and uh uh, I ended up bringing investors in, you know, over the course of time after we had proven out. Yeah, you once know, you get the started, concept. it starts that's to get right. easier. It's just that that's initial right. startup that's so difficult. Now you have what six or seven locations. We have, se- we have seven locations in the Tampa Bay area. Um, we're about ready to open with uh, some some great uh, franchise partners down in South Florida, uh, and uh, and looking over in Orlando as well right now. So wow, that's incredible. So I have to say my favorite one is, how is it called? The salmon miso. The miso salmon. Quinoa. Yeah, oh that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> I start thinking about it. I have to go and get one. Yeah, you brought a number of foods in here. I was just putting them up on the camera. And you can watch us always uh, live in studio. Just head over to tampabayradio.com and click on the uh, the live stream button on the homepage. But, I mean, you've got this fit fudge brownie. How do you yeah. make a brownie healthy? <laughs> What's in here that's not in uh, the bad stuff? Absolutely. And- well, we like to say, you know, at Fit Life, everything has a bit of a story to it. So, you know, in our barbecue beef and mac and cheese, it's going to have, uh, you know, carrots, onions, and grains in the mac and cheese. And the Alfredo sauce, it's going to have cauliflower. And then our brownie, as you just brought up there, we're actually going to put dried plums into the base of that brownie. So if you look on the back of that ingredients, you should see dried plums on the back of that and you know that's because what we want to do is there's a creative way to do things and that's what our corporate chef andrew ruga is so awesome at doing you know when i when i started this business i said i'm not going to do this unless i can find the best who does food and and andrew's been a great partner to to build this with and he you know has this uncanny ability of being able to you know we work together to understand you know here's what the consumer wants and then here's what we can do from a from a culinary perspective so uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to ask uh, who came up with the menu. Was this your design, or did you bring in a chef? So you have a you sat down and you didn't have all these things in mind initially, right? You probably had a few things, and uh, then... a couple ideas, but no. I mean, I, we yeah, I, I wish I could take credit for all the for all the food. <laughs> I mean, it's no. a pretty impressive menu. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, one, two, three, four That's, pages. Yeah, yeah. Six, we have sixty different menu items, and we you know we like to stay away from the typical health foods. I'm not like a health food nut, right? Okay. I'm not, I'm not going into, you know, beans and sprouts and, you know, it's got to be tofu and that's all the thing. I mean, we're about enchiladas and we're about barbecue beef and mac and cheese and firecracker shrimp and, you know, real stuff. Like the mac and cheese, how do you make pasta healthier versus like the store-bought stuff that's in the boxes and everything? What's different about your mac and cheese versus the the Velveeta mac and cheese that I love so much? Well, the the first thing I think that's most important uh, to, to keep in mind is portion size. Right. So I think that's where everybody gets kind of carried away is is the portions are just astronomical in, you know, so many different other places where you're going to go eat. So at Fit Life, we have everything in small, medium and large sizes. So that's the first thing. And, you know, we're going to balance out the carbs, which are, health, you know, low glycemic, high fiber carbs, lean protein and healthy fat. And if you do that and you give people the right balance, they're going to have a ton of energy and they're going to be able to do way more than they ever thought that they could be able to do. Mm-hmm. And that's. That's what's really, you know, most important. But in terms of the mac and cheese, you know, it says, okay, let's, number one, let's start with the right portion size. Uh, And then number two, what you're going to do is we're going to take carrots, we're going to take onions, we're going to take grains, we're going to, you know, bring that down, kind of build up a cheese sauce with that, put a little bit of cheese in there, and then sprinkle a little bit on the top just to kind of trick people um <laughs> that you know they're, that healthy yeah so that it's really healthy but it tastes great and that's it's got to be it's if it doesn't taste good then we don't want to i'm not going to sell it i mean right. that's that's a, i mean if right. i'm not going to eat it i'm not selling it i just had the cookie it's uh, excellent okay and so if you're telling me it's healthy um i'm telling you the cookie is a better choice i'm not telling you that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah right cookie's a better choice and then um yeah thank you i'm um life is beautiful right now right. and so i'm looking also i'm about to taste uh, the brownie and I'm looking at the labels too, and uh, you know, one of the things I know is if you can read the ingredients, right. then you're good. Yeah. You know, you look in the industry what you buy, and you can't even read what in, is in there because it's so like processed. And I'm reading here, and you know, everything is readable and yeah, actual real yeah. world. So yeah, the the labels out there, it's it's really unbelievable. I mean, if you just put real food into things, but that's also why you know 
you know, I don't, at FitLife, all of our meals are going to last, you know, five to six days. They've got, you know, you want, and it's all fresh. I mean, we have people who come in and they're like, oh, this is frozen, right? And I'm like, no, these are all refrigerators. Because you walk into the store and it's just a big bank of refrigerators and people are just grabbing. I mean, Sundays and Mondays, they're coming in and loading up for the week. Mm -hmm. um, and you say, think about how much time you save when you can walk in and get that many meals at one time. Now, are all the meals made on location fresh, or do you have stuff? some of the stuff that's shipped in in containers or no? Yeah, so, all, so we have a – so to maintain the consistency and quality of our product, we have a we – have, we like to call it the culinary center. It's this, you know, this, this, this place where basically we are cooking 24 hours a day. We're cooking seven days a week, and, you know, we are blending from scratch, from hand, 39 original sauces, 13 original spice blends, because that's – how you get, you know, with spice blends, you know, people are always talking about the sodium in food. Mm -hmm. That's how we bring the sodium down is you give people an interesting spice blend and they're going to get great flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the problem in so many of the foods. The box, the preservatives, it's just loaded with salt and or the sodium and stuff. Well, I, I, always say, I always say to people, if you take some of, the, some of the best chefs around town and you put them through what Chef Andrew Ruga has to go through, it's unbelievable. I mean, because what he's doing is he's having to give it five to six days of shelf life. He's having to make it healthy. He's having to make it so it's delicious when it comes out of a flavor box, which we call a microwave. Um, so, and it's got to it's got to accomplish all those things. And you know, because it's easy to cook with butter and fat and salt, right. right? And we love those things too. But that's why that's why we close at six o'clock on Saturday nights because we said, hey, it's time to go out and you know, it's Miller time, right? <laughs> so, how many meals? Does he make a day or a week or do you have a number? Uh, we're making, I mean, we're making thousands of meals a day, you know, right now. Wow. So, Very impressive. And we bring them to all of our stores. Yeah. Very impressive. I've got to take a quick break, but we're uh, coming back from the break. We're going to talk a little bit more with David Osterweil of Fit Life Foods here on That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their Shop at Home Flooring Sales Service and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. In the market for a reverse mortgage? Contact Access Reverse, a local company with personalized service in the Bay Area. Call them at 727-347-0305 or visit AccessReverse.com for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. They'll come to your home and speak with you about the best options for your reverse mortgage. Plus, they offer the lowest closing costs. Don't just get a reverse mortgage. Get the right reverse mortgage with Access Reverse. Visit AccessReverse.com. NMLS number 4566. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage want you to experience the thrill of one-day underwriting and the comfort in knowing your loans will be clear to close in record time. While a competition looks to a lost closing date, Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage focus on their 12-day clear-to-close. They do this by utilizing their world-class operations staff to underwrite your loan within six hours, process your loan in 12 days, and have your loan closed in time. Underwritten in six hours, cleared to close in 12 days. Bud Spriggs and Movement Mortgage. Are you looking for a local real estate firm that knows the market and has your interests in mind? Then contact Jim McPeak at McPeak Real Estate Firm a family-owned business whose agents have over 60-plus years of experience in the Tampa Bay market. Many of the agents are military veterans that know the VA process for buying a home and are proud to help our military members in any way they can. From residential to commercial real estate, McPeak Real Estate Firm is here to help. Contact Jim at 813-495-3875 and learn more at mcpeakteam.com. This report is brought to you by iHeartMedia. Looking for a way to increase your business? Ever thought about advertising on radio? iHeartMedia can customize a campaign to meet your specific needs. Call 844-BY-RADIO. That's 844-BY-RADIO. Or go to iHeartMedia.com. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center. Very slow traffic due to a wreck eastbound I-4 right before US-301. Westbound I-4 delays between I-75 to 301. And slow traffic southbound along the Veterans Expressway this morning from Ehrlich Road to about Waters Avenue. If you see traffic problems, call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterwick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. <laughs> Mostly sunny, not as humid, high 83, partly cloudy tonight, low 64. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day, sunny, high 80.
You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNC. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. Welcome back, everybody, to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Talk with uh, David Osterweil of Fit Life Foods here in studio today. And uh, Stella's over here enjoying some of the uh, very fine foods from Fit Life Foods. And uh, what are you uh, eating now there? And, um, yeah, I was saying I throw myself into this, and um, I kind of smell there was peanut butter, which I don't like. And I'm like, let me taste it, and it's excellent. How do you make me like peanut butter and be healthy? What is this? Well, it's well, peanut butter is such a great, you know, it's got great, you know, uh, healthy fats, going to keep mm. you full during the day. So people, you know, and then obviously uh, great protein with it, too. But, yeah, so, I mean, peanut butter is good for you. you know, I mean, it's a blend but, that works so well. But it's yeah. it's about balance. So is that the Victory Bar? Or you're mm. eating the peanut butter oat crunch. No, it's like a peanut butter bar. Oh, it's a, crunch uh, yeah, thing. peanut butter oat crunch. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. a, that's a fun snack. And, I mean, it's those beautiful. are snacks that are fun, right? Because yeah. uh, really, you know, uh, some of the... Package good brands really messed it up for everybody by saying these hundred calorie snack packs that are loaded with sugar and carbs, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know our snacks are going to be they're you know around 250, 260 calories because we want to we want to fill you up. Mm-hmm. So peanut butter crunch is a good example. You know it's got uh, apples and grapes and then it's got the no bake kind of uh, oats with the peanut butter oat crunch. It's it's fun. It's mm-hmm. fun. It's now, fun snack. Now you have a local tie here to the uh, amazing race that's going on. Yeah. Tell me, you're just telling me about this. Tell, tell us this story. Yeah. So uh, so actually I was contacted by a, a reporter out in LA who was doing a story on uh, CBS's The Amazing Race right now because they said, you know, we, we actually have a, we were doing an interview getting ready for uh, season 26 here and one of the contestants is from the St. Petersburg area and they mentioned that they uh, are eating your food exclusively to get ready for the amazing race so actually we we contacted her we reached out it was uh haley keel who is a uh she's a uh, pediatric uh uh nurse over at all children's and uh and she's and she's on there right now. She's uh, I've seen four episodes. She's survived all four. She's uh, she's doing great. And she's uh, how she's long on, has she been eating it? I mean, how long? She was eating it for several months before the Amazing Race. And she said she ate it uh, to really just kind of get her body ready and just to feel great and have a ton of energy. So uh, so it's really exciting watching her. So we're watching. You know, she can't tell us what how she did in the race. So we're, we're kind of waiting right. every week to, to see how she's doing. And she's actually on a blind date with a doctor from Amelia Island. So, yeah. um, <laughs> it's, so. um, you know, I had a, a happened that when I work really hard, I end up eating very bad, but lately I've been eating a lot healthier and the reward that you get, um, and the energy that you get is pretty unbelievable. Do you have any, um, testimonial of, people coming back to you and yeah so i always say i always say to people you know it's 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 hard in our business to fight through all the butter and fat and that's out there that stuff is addicting i mean honestly it's addicting and we always say to people kind of get addicted to the way that you feel that's really the most important Mm -hmm. thing and Actually, uh, I was in uh, our St. Pete story, uh, St. Pete store, a uh, a couple months ago, and this uh, this older couple comes in, and you know I introduced myself as as the founder, and we were just kind of having a nice conversation, and they said, you know, we went through your Project U program, which is a program where you pay twenty three ninety five a month, and you come in and you meet with a wellness coach, and you get your baseline wellness digits, and then they do all the meal planning for you, and then. You just get the food, but that's very affordable. Yeah, it, well, it's, and that's and that's because you have this one-to-one coach that's doing all the meal planning for you, and then you pay for the food and get a discount off it. Mm-hmm. But they were telling me they're like, you know, we used to be so tired at night, we'd be so sluggish, and now, you know, we haven't had this much energy in years. Thank you so much, and I'm thinking to myself like where are they going with <laughs> right. this and i think they were talking about their uh their sex yeah, life oh well, yeah yeah whatever yeah uh-huh. their evening uh, activities you know right. but they said they were having hey, nothing wrong with that a lot of, a lot of energy at night now hey, nothing <laughs> so wrong with that. it was it was uh it was, it was kind of like talking to my grandparents though but um it was interesting yeah so this program what is i was looking on your website which is eat uh, fitlifefoods.com yeah. so people can use uh, your fit life food locations as kind of like a personal trainer for the uh, the meal Aspect yeah, I mean, we, on. yeah, so we, we cater to so many different people. I mean, there's the busy, you know, professionals that are just, I mean, they're crazy busy. They're coming in, they're getting their meals and they're loading up. I mean, if you think about a, a fast food experience, right, you got to leave your office, go downstairs, get in a car, go to the fast food line, wait in that line, come back up. I mean, there's nothing really that fast about it. For us, um, 
you know, on Project U especially, uh, the customers who are coming in and, you know, they're trying to lose some weight, gain energy, just trying to get their bodies in a place where they're happy. And uh, so they come in, you pay twenty three ninety five. you meet with a wellness coach, and it's really one-to-one wellness coaching. And we're going to give you your baseline wellness digits. I think uh, I think you've got my, uh, my my secret story over there about uh, my body fat and all that. Don't, oh, don't, disclo- can... don't disclose anything. <laughs> so. You uh, even have your basal metabolic yeah, rate? Yeah, what so is that? It's, uh, it's, so that's the amount of calories that your body burns at rest each day. So if you were to just, you know... Kind oh, of, so you can make the numbers. You can add. That's up right. So you know how many. Bo- yeah, you okay. know how many calories your body naturally burns every single day, and then it, if you exercise, you're gonna then obviously burn more calories onto that. So you just you know you continue to work. So if you it's math, right? If you eat more, then you're gonna. How long do these healthy. assessments uh, take uh, for the initial consultation? I mean, it's about thirty minutes uh, mm-hmm. typically, and it's really gonna be a discussion of your goals. It's gonna be getting all those digits, and then talking about the foods that you like that you don't like. And then we go ahead and we actually will, every four days, we plan those meals with you. And then even if you're not eating, I mean, for example, you could say, hey, I've got a business meeting coming up. So you're obviously not going to eat Fit Life during a business meeting, you know, that you're having lunch at. So, but we'll plan that and talk about the smart choices you should make, right? So let's not load up on the uh, on the extra dressing during that uh, during that dinner or let's, you know, let's be smart about the choices. Let's cut, let's cut it down from, you know, uh, from a, from a. From you a, try, a lot there, of beers, is there a, <laughs> for wine. To is there a, a fee less. for the initial consultation? And there's a monthly fee for the service. Yes, yeah, so it's tw- it's twenty three ninety five a month, and that's just but kind for of the a, initial. Is there a separate uh, initial consultation fee, or is that like, for, it's it's yeah you so you pay the twenty three ninety five, okay, and then so it just recur, it recurs okay. from there. Yeah, okay, so, so I was thinking there might be like an initial consultation fee on top of that. No, like that, no. So it's just we keep it simple. It's you know twenty three ninety five a month. It recurs. You kind of cancel at any time, but you know it's it, it's really easy. So I've got to ask you the question sure. about, so the food is uh, all natural, like how do you do with the organic yep. and what's your uh, choice with that? So we like to say organic where it matters and local when available. So, you know, our focus, like that. Mm-hmm. yeah, so our focus is going to be on, you know, all natural, no hormones, no preservatives, no additives. And we really try and stay focused um, on that. And, you know, so for example, like in the oats, I think you've got there with our uh, is with the our victory bar, or is that in, yeah, well, I think you've got with our uh, morning muesli right there. So oh, yeah. and some of the different oats, yeah, and our granola oat. berry yeah. bake. Like I mean, we're going to use some an example would be like Bob's Red Mill, right? So different brands that you love to have in your own home. Um, those are the types of things that we're gonna we're gonna put in the foods, and we like to work with a lot of uh, local providers, local farmers as we can. Um, now, what, are some of the, great. what are some of the ingredients that, you know, if for somebody who's just trying to cut back, I mean, what are some of the, the worst things in the foods out there? We call them the sugar, the salt, the aspartame. The, what yeah. are some of the things that you think are the biggest culprits to the weight gain in, in America? Well, I mean, it's sugar. I mean, sugar Sugar's is, yeah, sugar is absolutely, you know, the number one thing. And it's going to be, you know, I mean, the easiest way to people, to help people, you know, start losing weight now is sodas. I mean, sodas are... I mean, there's, they're the worst. I drink because, Diet Coke, though. She's right. But, that's, you but you're basically <laughs> tricking your body there, so that's not even a, I know. My mom uh, reminds me of that all the time. Stick to water. Stick yes. to water. You have a ton of energy. But, I mean, it, really, it becomes, you know, when you're drinking sodas, you are drinking, like, literally liquid sugar. It's got no... Because fat is good, right? People sometimes think fat is not good. Fat is good because it keeps you your body full. So, you know, and that, I think it helps with absorption as well. Abs- yeah, that's exactly right. Nutrients and well, and that's that balance that you want to have of the right, you know, low glycemic, high fiber carbs, lean protein, and healthy fat. When you balance out that food, mm-hmm. you're going to optimize your energy, wow. and that's what's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Uh, real quick, got about a minute left. Uh, where are some of your locations at? Absolutely, seven locations in the Tampa Bay area. We've got uh, two in South Tampa, one on Southdale Mabry, one on Howard. We have one in Bank of America Plaza downtown, Countryside. North Tampa and Carrollwood. Uh, we are also in St. Pete and Fourth Street, and uh, and uh, and Brandon, and we're also in Brandon as well. Um, oh. And the website is eatfitlifefoods.com. Yep, and also check us out on Facebook too. All right, if you're uh, just tuning in, we we're just talking with uh, David Osterweil of uh, Fit Life Foods. He is the founder and uh, CEO of that company, and a great company and a great concept. Thank you very much, uh, Dave, for coming in. Thank you, Sal. And if uh, you're just tuning in, you're listening to That Business Show on 1250 WHNZ. And again, catch this show on weekdays at 8 a.m. I hope everybody has a great Monday.